Hello, everybody. Welcome to Computing Concepts and Practice. Um, today, I am going to show you how to connect your USB console cord, you know. So I just ordered this two days back and I just got it today. So I am going to show you how to set it up on your network device. So assuming that you, you have a laptop and then maybe you want to use um, the USB port because your computer or your laptop does not have the regular serial port. So this is the cord that you can get. You can get this cord on Amazon. Um, if you just search for USB console cord, you are going to receive it. You're going to get one and then it's it's not even expensive. It's about $14, $15. That's how much I got mine. Um, so you can search for it and then you can get one. So today I'm going to connect it to Fortnite um, router. So this one, you can see the port that it has. And then there's a port for console next to the USB over over there. No, this thing is not helping. But you can see the console port is just next to the USB port. So after the first USB port, uh, printer port, but usually this one is used for management. Uh, so that's for USB management, that's what it's called. Then followed by the two USB ports, and then the next is the console port. So I'm going to connect the console port over at the console port area. There you go. Then I am going to connect the other half to the computer, any USB port at the computer will do. So I'm gonna connect it to my computer. Any USB port. There you go. So I got that connected. So as you see, I put the steps over on the screen. So first, you need to make sure that you connect the, it to the console port of, you, of your device. That's if it is a network device, maybe Fortnite, maybe Cisco, switches, router, it could be any of them. In this case, the example I'm, I'm going to use is a Fortnet, Fortgate 100D. So second, you need to download the corresponding drivers that comes with the cable. For example, this one, I got it from FTDI. FTDI stands for Future Technology Device International Limited. So if we go to the website, so for example, over here, this is their website, FTDI. So you go to drivers and you can download the D2X drivers. That's what is recommended. If you download it, it's going to give you the chance to choose. The same that click here to download Windows 7 to Windows 11 version. So if I click here, it's going to download it. So here you go. And it's going to download it over to my computer. I already have it downloaded. You can see, right? So I don't need to download the second one. <clears throat> so now you can, you can install it. So let's try to install it. It's already installed, but I'm just going to give you an idea as to how this is done. So double click on that and then boom. First, remember to extract it. And then you're going to go ahead, yes, and then extract it and then just proceed with the steps. Accept, next, and finish. There you go. So second, you need to make sure that you power on your device. So this is going to be powered in no time. So 
So as you can see, my foot gate is turning on. So as it turn on, remember one other thing we need to install is make sure you have the party. Party is like a terminal software that we use to log in to network devices. So I have it installed, but if you don't have it, you can visit this page. I'm gonna put all the links in the description. So visit that page and then you can download um, the Microsoft uh, Windows installer uh, packages, the 64 bits, that is what I have on my computer. So this is how the interface looks like. So usually if you wanna connect with either raw, telnet, our login, SSH, you put the IP addresses of the host that you want to connect to. And then if it is a serial call in our case, because ours is a serial, a serial um, call, but it's a USB to um, RG45. So um, this is what we are trying to do. So now that I have the Fortinet, um, the driver is installed, the next step we need to do is make sure that you have the party installed, we, we are sure, and then try to connect. If it doesn't work, then let's proceed with the rest of the steps. So in this case, I will try to connect. So remember it's a serial, so click on serial and click on open. And you can get the error right away saying, unable to open connection to COM, COM1, unable to open serial port. So what we want to do next is make sure that we go to our computer management. Go to computer management. And uh, go to this PC, right click on it and click on manage. Then you click on device manager. So under device manager, you're looking for ports and com, port com and LPT. So I expand that, and you're gonna see that we have a USB serial port. And what's the com number? It's a com six. But inside party, you're gonna realize that the default com is com one. So just change that to six and click on open. And there you go. You're about just get connected to your device. So the default password for Fortnite, it's always admin and an empty password. And then we are oh, logging incorrect. So admin. Yeah, there you go. So admin low case, this is case sensitive. So admin lower case, and then uh, this the password is empty. Just press enter and then boom, you are in. So thank you. If this video was very helpful for you to be able to set up your console, um, please click on the like and then subscribe button and look forward to more videos from this channel to help you in your day to day configurations. Have a good rest of your day.